Okay, I'm gonna sound a wee bit old right now, but have you lived to an age where you've got to see things be recycled as far as like trends or events or things that just kind of like, oh, a little bit of deja vu? Well, I wanted to share a thought with you on something that kind of took me back in time. Um, when my kids were little, we had a family password so that if someone had to pick them up from school who, you know, might've been a little emergency situation or whatever, the kids would know that there was a safe person to go with because they would ha would have had the family password. We never had to use it, but it was in place in case we did. I am encouraging people to do that again. I have been encouraging them for a while, but now I'm really uh, stressing that I think it's very, very important to have a family password and not uh, for the kids, but also for your parents, older people in your family to have a password that they can remember, even if they are emotionally um, worked up a little bit. I sat with some, some people a while back who had told me their story, how they had been tripped out of some money. They had received a phone call um, late at night. It sounded like their grandson, emergency situation, needed money. Long and short, they were out money because they thought that the person on the phone sounded exactly like their grandson. They were distraught and wanted to help him. Family password alleviates that situation from happening because now if that person can't tell them the password, it's obviously not real. If they can't repeat the password, then you know, okay, hang up and call that person, which is what they had said, you know, if we only would have thought just to, to give him a call. Because when they did talk to him next, they asked, are you okay? Did everything work out? And he had no clue what they were talking about. So it's just an old, a recirculated idea to help maybe protect someone from some type of fraud or some type of loss of funds. And it's easy to do. So come up with a password, make it safe. The other thing that I have been hearing a lot about and I wanted to share with technology because of that with the AI and how it could sound like your family member, but also QR codes. Um, you know, we've all seen them. You go to a restaurant and the only way to get the menu now is to scan their QR code and then everything pop, pulls up. What they are actually doing though is they are sending you things in the mail. Could be a book, um, could be a piece of jewelry, some, I, I even saw one account where someone said they actually got a grill. So, I mean, it, it could be anything. I, I, I don't know that there's actually any um, specific definite, oh my gosh, this is it. But if you get something in the mail that comes with something like a card or something that says, um, if you'd like to see who it's from, or it's from this business name, LLC, um, scan below for more information or whatever, and it comes with a QR code, do not scan the QR code. That is a doorway opening up your phone to that person, and they can go in and the information that you have on your phone, they can access. So if you've got passwords, if you've got bank account information, they can actually access all that information within seconds, be into it. Um, if you get one of those gifts, throw the card away, keep the gift, and Consider yourself ahead of the person who sent it and shame on them. So just a couple things to help you stay ahead of the technology advancements that are causing some complications for people or bad ways that people are using technology, I guess is a good way to say it. So hope it helps. Have a great day. Take care.